Hello, my name is Mikko. In this video, I'm going to introduce you Merrick Raider MGR series. Merrick Raider is lift arm mounted Raider. It has a very robust and strong design. It is designed for all year round use. In winter time, it's mainly used for snow removal from parking areas from uh, roads, generally from places where snow removal is done with tractor equipment. Also it can be used for uh, hard pack snow and ice removal. And in uh, summertime it's mainly used for gravel road maintenance. And the Meri Grader is one part of the Meri road equipment where road is crushed open then profiled with the crater and then compacted with the merry pack. And benefits of this uh, lift arm mounted crater are following. It's very compact in size and the mobility is excellent. It travels from work site to another very easily on tractor lift arms. And this unit can be turned around even in small and narrow places. And the base features of the crater are this from the middle pivoted grading plates. So when the grading plates are pivoted from the middle, it can be operated to all directions. You can operate the crater to forward and reverse. You can drag, you can pull, and you can plow the material to every direction. Here we have MGR360 model equipped with all the possible options what we have available at the moment. So this crater comes in three different width. 3.6 meter, 4.2 meter or 4.8 meter. And the weight of the crater varies from 1200 up to 2500 kilos, purely depending on the options what we have chosen. The base crater itself is a very simple structure. So in base crater we technically have these side crating plates, the hydraulic center skid and the frame. And like that the crater works very well in snow removal work. Few words about the side plates. Side plates are equipped with a dual net type of wear plates and the side plate cylinders are equipped with shock valves. And the base crater requires three hydraulic outputs from the tractor. One for each side plates and one for, for the center skid. And few words about the side plates. The working height of the side plate is 70 centimeters, so it can move big amounts of material at a time. And the mounting of the side plate to the frame is done with a floating mounting. It is a patented solution. It means that the side plate is not fixed. It can move up and downwards a little bit and it makes the side plate floating. And the floating is needed when we are grading or doing snow removal work in higher velocities. Technically when we reach a certain speed and if the side plate is fixed, mounted, the crater starts shaking and vibrating. But the floating patented system allows the working in higher velocities. Then let's have a look on the options. All the options to the crater can be upgraded afterwards. So if you have the base crater and you have a need for some of the options, they can be upgraded later on. First, we have the front grading plate. This is the most uh, common option. So, and it is very much needed when you are doing uh, road maintenance 
in summertime. The grading blade is equipped with the conical carpet cutters, which are cutting and biting the road very well. And also in winter time, it's used for the ice and hard back snow removal. Grading plate is uh, quick attached. As you can see, there is just a big pin going through the frame, and it's attached with these pushings and this locking pin. So the grading plate is relatively easy to take off and put back on when it's needed. And here we have an adjustment rod. So technically when we change the length of this rod, we can adjust the angle of the grading plate to the driving direction. It means that we can control that do we want to move the material from the side to the center or from center to the side. And next option is hydraulic frame longitudinal tilting. So with this cylinder we can tilt the frame in this direction. And the tilt cylinder is a useful option when working with the front grading plate. So technically we can control the cutting angle of the front grading plate. And I forgot to mention that the, the use of the front grading plate doesn't require pressing from the tractor towards the ground. But the cutting is purely depending on that we have an aggressive cutting angle and by controlling the angle we can adjust how well it bites the road. It bites the road. And this frame longitudinal tilt cylinder is used for adjusting the cutting angle and as well we can control the height between the side grading plate and the front grading plate. And next option we have frame lateral tilt. So we have a tilt here. So technically we have a hydraulic cylinder and it's inside a slide system that we can control the height of the lift arm ball. So basically we control the frame lateral tilting. And that is very much needed when doing a gravel road maintenance in summertime. That we can have the needed and required profile to the road. We want the water going from center to, towards the ditches. And next option is this rear support wheel. So the rear support wheel starts from here. It includes the frame, it includes the cylinder, it includes the wheel frames and the tires. And the tires, they are far behind and that's making the crater very stable. And it's also very much needed when you are doing a gravel road maintenance in the summertime. It, it keeps the crater stable. And the wheels, when you don't need it, they go very up and the crater is not long anymore. And, and the new option, what we have now, is this, we call it side scrapers. The side scraper is this additional plate which is attached to the side grading plates. So with this plate we can control that we, if we don't want any material to escape during the grading process. So many times in a gravel road maintenance we don't want to get any material escaping to the side or to the ditch. And with, with this uh, side scraper we can control that. And this side scraper is quick attached and uh, it's easy to take it out of the way when it's not needed. So technically we have those two locking bolts and uh, this one pin and we can raise it up like that. When it's not needed we can work without it. 
and uh, when we have all these options been chosen we have a need for six hydraulic outputs from the tractor and uh, many tractors don't have that many hydraulic outputs available so then we can equip the grader with a electric control it means that we will have a hydraulic valve in the crater it has six hydraulic blocks and then into the cabin we have a joystick and a control panel and this hydraulic valve can function in continuous flow system or in LS system and this tractor is so old that we don't have a LS system so technically we need just a continuous pressure and a tank line from the tractor and if it's attached to the tractor with the LS hydraulic then also the LS hydraulic line is needed in the cabin we have a display control panel and then the joystick both of them come with this uh, ramlock quick mounting equipment so they can be put in the easily in the place where it's easy to use them and through the joystick we control all the hydraulic functions of the crater and from the display we can adjust the speeds and the directions of the movements of the crater so as you can see from the display we have here language settings we have uh, multiple languages available so we can choose every hydraulic function and we can control the speed of each direction or we can influence the boat directions simultaneously and this invert changes the direction for example if I want to change the direction of the movement I push the invert and it switches it in the joystick thank you for watching and let's have a look what the crater can do thank you